sorry, that was a little loud. I am Miss Linda the Craft Lady, and today we are going live with Grace Company. <laughs> I am very excited, a little nervous. So I brought my little comfort pet with me. This is Lily Bunny. So um, you'll see her periodically because she's nosy. Uh, but today we have Allegra and Mark with Grace Company. And Hello. We are going to be talking about the 16X Elite. Yes, we the are. Unique 16X Elite. Now, I will tell you, I. I just talked to Allegra not too long ago, and I was like, okay, mine's coming, right? No. <laughs> so I love this machine for several reasons. One, it has a 16 inch, the throat is ridiculously long for a machine that can be used in your home or small business, okay? And it has lights like a spaceship, it's got, lights in the throat lights ladies in the gentlemen gentlemen because this is a power tool it's a power tool <laughs> don't let's think power tool okay it has lights in the bobbin case how many times have you had to get a light just to see can we put the bobbin in please it has lights <laughs> in the bobbin case don't you love I, just for that i would get it just for that and Allegra and Mark have worked a special deal. We are selling the machine today for the month of July to you all for a wonderful price. We'll get to that later. I'm going to hold that as a, you know, stay, <laughs> stay hanged in, stay on Let me simmer in anticipation. Yes. Right. Now, just a little tidbit about me. Um, I have been a crafter for all of my life came out that way with a sewing needle in my hand. Um, and I have, I was named the craft lady by some children who were in the city of Pinole, plugged to the city of Pinole, who helped give me my start. And the kids called me the craft lady because I did crafts in the park. So that's how I got the craft lady title. And I'll post all of this on my Instagram page. And the link for that is also here as well. So I'm going to give way now, and we'll talk about me and my fabulousness later. I'm going to give way, <laughs> not, <laughs> you know, with all of this, you can't be vain. Uh, so, and I'm looking forward to your comments. Please comment. Um, we are gonna do a different way of commenting this time. I'm just gonna kind of jump in um, whenever, and Brian in the background is going to help us out. But I'm going to silence and breathe and give you to Allegra so that she and Mark can proceed. But thank you all. Thank you so much for joining my live. This will hopefully be the first of many. So keep an eye out. And we may even have a wonderful gift for one of you out there. Keep watching. Fantastic. Yeah, thanks for joining us. As you guys have heard, I'm Allegra. And I am Mark. And we work on the sales team. And I had just started working with Ms. Linda. And I have to say, she is such a delight to talk to. She's so fun. She has her cute little dog. And she's just a wonderful person to work with. I love with. her personality. She has a great I love personality. The personality. Yes. <laughs> Um, and she's so real. I love, you know, with her dog, you know, and, and all, all things she said from how she started and the craft lady. So I was able to talk with her uh, before we started and get to know her a little more. And so she is just a great person. So we're both excited to be able to do this event with her. And I love everybody who's coming in. And so um, there's a lot of people coming in from different places, from Colorado, from I think Ohio from is Michigan. one of them, Michigan. Um, so thanks for, for coming in and please, enter in the comments um, this is for you uh, so any any feedback any comment you want to put in there please do yeah or if you have any questions we're here to answer today we're going to do a live demo of our 16x elite personally my favorite machine i don't know about you but it's mine <laughs> so let's just get right into it where do we want to start mark 
Well, there's so many features to start. I mean, we'll, we got the screen, we got the size of throw, bobbin winders. We'll get into the details of this. Um, but I'm gonna ask a question before we start onto this, because I always love doing this before we start. Okay, Cunic Machines. Uh, this is the 16X Elite. Beautiful machine at a price point that we're gonna talk about uh, later. Now put a one in the comment if you already own a sewing machine that you uh, do your quilting with, but you've been dreaming about getting a larger throw or a long arm. Put a one in the comment if that is you. Because we hear that often, right? Uh -huh. People have sewing machines all the time and they're like, oh, I, I, they love to quilt, but the process that they're doing it mm -hmm. may not be the right tool at that time for them to be quilting. And if they're pushing the fabric through, that could be a little, little much for them. A little tricky, them. maybe. Yep. So put a one in the comment again, if you have been, so Amy, yep, she's not shamed, Tammy, Tammy. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of ones because we all been at that point where we, we love to quilt. We want to go uh, forward in our hobby. We're excited to go forward in our hobby, but we just don't have the right probably tools to help us to that point. And so um, these ones are for those, this is for them. Yes, this is for them. Well, let's just start off with the basics. 16 inch throat, so 16 inches front to back. I think that's a wonderful space. It also has built in stitch regulation with four stitch modes for you. Easy peasy. The handlebars, adjustable, yes, built-in bobbin handlebars, winder. Yes, adjustable handlebars, built-in bobbin winder with a fill sensor, so it'll automatically stop for you. That's Has right. throat lights, a needle light, and an LED bobbin light in the bobbin area. That's right. You know, before we get into these features, because I want to talk about the screen, there's a lot to talk about the screen, but the kind of history with, with, the, with the Cunic machines, um, we talk about, again, push quilting, Let's look at let's look at our journey of quilters, right? We there's so many journeys of quilters, where they started, where they're going. Um, the 16 definitely gets that hobby to the next level. If you yes. if you're looking at your, I mean, how many quilt tops do we have ready to quilt? Um, how many of you guys have three tops ready to get quilted? How many of you guys have five tops ready to get quilted? Um, and how many of you are scared to do free motion quilting? Go ahead and put in the comments if you, how many quilts you have ready to quilt. Are you scared to do free motion quilting? Because this 16 is a free motion quilter, right? You're moving it around yourself. Uh, you have the larger throw to do so, which as you can see right here. So the large throw with the beautiful lighting underneath. You see my hand light up. So we have wonderful lights underneath. Don't let some of the, the things that we feel like we're scared stop you from, from getting more into your hobby because don't let the free motion stop you. Don't let the size of machine stop you. Um, definitely don't let the cost stop you because once we talk about what the cost is going to be, you're going to be jumping at moving forward with this. But the 16 uh, we brought to the uh, market because of all the wonderful quilters out there like yourself who are looking to do more quilting. And so this, this gives you the throw space needed. Um, and there's not a lot of gadgets and gizmos on it. You can see it's a very plain machine. There's not a lot that can go wrong with it. And that's one thing I love about the CUNIC 16 is the maintenance. You know, we, mm -hmm. you know, we talk about the little features that it has, but maintaining the machine is super easy to maintain. Oh my gosh, it is so easy. I don't know if I can show you because we have our little GoPro Prama here, but you just throw. open this front hood and that's throw. where all your maintenance is done. Ms. Linda wants to, yeah, go ahead. Just before you go to that, there's a couple of things I want to say. Um, someone just put in the comments that they're intimidated and that's why they're watching. So if you've done any sewing over the last two, three decades, don't, uh, it's, it's what it is. This is like driving your car. It's a big <laughs> steering wheel. That's all it is. And if you can do this, you can work this machine. So don't let this machine intimidate you. You're not going to be carrying it around with you to events and that kind of thing. However, if you do, you can. Um, yes. <laughs> it, it only weighs 45, 50 pounds at the most. But you you don't have to worry about doing having um, any fears with this because if you can write your name or make loops, that's all you're doing. It's not to be... And especially since they have this new feature with the bobbin to tell you, yes, you are not stitching without bobbin thread. How many of us have done quilting 
and you quilt it with no bobbin thread and you don't know it until you're like six inches down <laughs> you know so the features that you should really think about with this is now you don't have to shove in stuff okay that's a quilting term shove in stuff through your small little eight inch throat of your machine you don't have to worry about that and you've got the motion as long as your arms <laughs> mine are short but you, that's your motion so this is perfect this is great but um don't be intimidated by the machine at all it's not you know you're not hauling bricks it's easy so i'm glad you brought that up no miss linda i'm glad you brought that up um, you know, Tammy mentioned that she has a, several UFOs um, that she does, mostly stippling. And so that is um, a lot of our quilters. They have a lot of UFOs that are ready. And those who don't know UFOs, we're not talking about the, the <laughs> things that fly around in the sky, right? These are unfinished objects. So, um, you know, we talked about the intimidation, Miss Linda, you brought up. After we get done talking about this machine, you're going to walk away from this segment realizing it is possible i can do it it is just like driving a car so after we talk about it you will walk away dreaming big excited to get it because it is super easy i'll tell you one thing the grace company does not bring out these wonderful machines just for you to be like well now what do i do well now what <laughs> i do now what do i do now so it is very easy to drive very easy to use and so yes stay with us because you're going to find that this machine is not in fact this machine may be more scared of you than you are of it because it is just a simple machine so all right yeah, I think the thing to focus on too, I'm sorry, I'm chiming in. Uh, sorry, Brian. Um, <laughs> so I think the thing to focus on too is, you know, all I say UFPs, so unfinished projects, okay? And I wouldn't tell you how many unfinished quilts I have because it would send me straight to HE double toothpicks because gluttony <laughs> is a sin, you know? But you have so many things that are able that you're able to do with this 16 inch throat you don't have to do just quilt how many of you and maybe put this in the comment too send me a number two if you wanted to do bags tote bags little you know little projects with just a little quilting on the top if you're doing any type of home deck stuff pillows you want to quilt a little bit on the top. You can put that little, what, 24 inch bag, that tote bag on this machine, quilt it, even spell your name and put it on there and then take it off and sew it together. Now you've got it a quilt, a custom quilted bag. So I'm sorry, I'm getting excited. Oh. <laughs> That's what we want. We want you to be excited. Yeah, no need to apologize. Your excitement is the same excitement that we're seeing from the watchers, right? These quilters are putting a number two in there. Yes, I love tote bags is what Brenda is mentioning. So um, there's a lot of versatility that you can do with this 16 mm -hmm. from making tote bags to finishing your projects. Um, Personally, I'd love to make some quilted pants. Oh, I yes. think that would be super fun. There you go. Oh. Allegra, you said that, and I just, that made me think, you know, those big, the winter puffy jackets, mm -hmm. you can take the back of a jacket and quilt it on this or the sleeves or the front. And, and there you go. That's a customized Chris. Okay. Christmas in July. Hello people. <laughs> okay. You're right. Now get your quilting machine, get your 16 X in by the end of the month. And you can start your Christmas gifts now and have them all finished and under the tree or wherever, Hanukkah, Rosh, uh, Kwanzaa, what, whatever you're doing for the holidays. And I know you Halloween people, this is perfect for y'all. That's so, right. I mean, you know, now's the time you can get it here in July. It only takes maybe about four, three to four days, five days, seven days for shipping. You can get it and have it up and running by the end of July and start on your holiday packaging. It's perfect. Yep. Yes, anyway. absolutely. So Ms. Linda and Allie, I'm going to, um, let's, let's talk about this. Let's talk about a checklist. If we're looking mm -hmm. at a machine 
and we're looking to move forward in our hobby and we want to buy a long arm machine, what checklist do we have? So for me, stitch regulation, mm -hmm. right? M class bobbin, um, zero to little maintenance. Um, do I have to send it in for servicing? Set it for servicing, you know, large screen so I can see, adjustable Will it handles. Sit in my home. Right. The main couple ones that we want to check off is ditch regulation um, is the one main thing and probably maintenance, right? You want to have an easy machine that you can check yes. off. So if you have a checklist, what is on that checklist? Because what we're going to go over, I want you to check off what we're talking about. And if we check off what's on your checklist, then this is the machine for you. So there's so many wonderful things. Um, we talk about the throat. We talk about the screen. Let's dive into the screen yeah. and exactly what the screen has to offer. I love the screen. This is my favorite part of our Excellite machines. I think I'm going to... Can we see all right? Can you tilt it up a little bit? There you go. A little more. Okay. So... Oh, this is, this is so much better. Thank you, Brent. <laughs> so this is the screen that you're gonna come into when you get to your machine. At the bottom, we have a little toolbox and there's some features in here that you might not expect to see on a quilting machine that you probably don't even have on your checklist. First is a nice measuring tool, which I think is a super fun feature because sometimes you never know when you're getting through a project if you need an extra step or something. And it's not fun to have extra accessories sitting on top of your quilt. I like to be organized when I'm doing stuff and I just have too many things in front of me, it's hard. <laughs> so having things built into the machine I think is absolutely wonderful. It's super fun. There's also a built-in calculator as well. If you ever need one, boom, right there. No more extra stuff sitting next to you or around your machine. Yeah, how many of us pull our phone out, right? Yeah, right. Get our phone, <laughs> get a calculator, so that's really Yeah, really and great. it's just right there for you, which I think is wonderful. And as we all heard Miss Linda say, we have a built-in bobbin estimator to our screens, which Major. is a lifesaver. Yes, <laughs> it Major. is so wonderful. You just tell the machine approximately how many yards are on your bobbin. And if you're curious what that number is, uh, if you have M-class bobbins, 50 weight thread, you're gonna get about 80 yards. And it'll start to warn you when you're getting low. So if I go back to the screen, you'll see the bobbin in the quarter is green here. That means we have more than enough bobbin thread to continue working on our project. It'll turn yellow and then it'll turn red when it wants you to change it. We also have what's called edge warning. Do you wanna talk a little bit about that? I would love to. So edge warning, this is, I'll tell you what, <laughs> okay. How many, okay, probably if, you're, if you've been quilting, you focus on the needle. So the thing with long arms is you can lose the, the back of your throat when you bring it up. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the machine up here. Thank you. So the back of the throat when you're quilting, once you hit your take up rail, this is where you're gonna lose the throw space or you may not even know. Um, same with the side of, of your uh, frame. When you move the machine over to the side of the frame, your carriage will hit the side of the frame and that's just standard. These two points are, are standard when you do free motion quilting with a long arm. Now, this is what happens. When you're quilting, what are we focusing on? It's right down there at the needle point, right? I'm not focusing above me. No. So if we're doing circles, right? I wanna do circles, so I'm moving it around and I'm moving it around. Um, and we'll turn the machine on here in a minute, but it's easy for you guys to hear me as, as I'm talking or at least Linda, but well, I go ahead and turn it on now and you guys can see, right? So if we're going ahead, So that same motion, if I was doing it the entire, entire way down, what's going to happen when I come forward? If I'm doing a circle and I'm coming forward and I'm just looking at my needle, well, as I come closer, you see the back of my throat is getting back or closer to the rail. I'm not looking at that. No, no. right? I'm looking at my needle. So I'm coming up, if I'm doing a circle, well, my circle becomes a half moon because I'm bumping into that right there. And nobody likes a half moon if I want to do a circle. And likewise, as I'm going to this side of my quilt, you're going to be focusing in. So essentially what edge warning does is put a parameter mm -hmm. edge along your quilt. So as I'm coming forward, I can set that at a half inch or one inch increment. So I'm not going to make a half moon when I want a full circle and I, when I'm quilting to the side. So it is a great way for us beginners or even if you've been quilting for a long time, you still fall in that category of you're focusing on the front of your machine that you can forget where you're at on the quilt. So let's go back to that whole edge warning. Mm -hmm. 
and we can set what that's going to be. So on the screen, we're going to move that to the top left and it will tell you what to do. So move to the top left and we're going to set it. Then we'll come to the very bottom right and hit set. Okay, let's go down to the bottom right real fast. And the reason oh, why this we'll is important in the bottom right. <laughs> is look how much more fabric I think I have to work with, right? I have about another eight inches of fabric that I think I can go ahead and quilt. And that's not the case because of the, the rail back here. So this is also where it comes in handy because I think I can come forward and this is a little deceiving to have all this extra mm -hmm. fabric. So come into the front right, uh, which you already set. Okay, so now we can go ahead and do a one inch or half inch setting. So go ahead and pick which one you want. Let's do a half an inch. Okay, so now you see the screen was check marked. The edge warning is checked for the half an inch. Now, before I test this, I want to make sure I have the sound and the light on for this so that you can get the full effect. So with our edge warning, you could have it warn you with a light, a red flashing light, or with a beeping sound, or with both. Or if you don't want it, you can turn it all off. <laughs> That's right. So, and I love a Brenda. I mean, there's kind of, yeah, edge warning, please. This is such a huge, huge, huge thing when it comes to quilting. I wish this was available years ago when you're doing your quilting because it's just an amazing little thing that takes your next quilting to the next level, right? Yes. All right. Absolutely. So. I'm sorry. One more thing. Karen asked why I have so much fabric in front of the hoop. This hoop, I pulled it out just a little bit so I could easily demonstrate to you guys how the edge warning works. It's a lot easier to show you if we have a whole bunch of fabric in front and it helps create that illusion that we have more space when you're actually quilting. That's right. All right, I'm gonna stop talking so we can watch. Look at that. Yeah. Y'all hear that? That I heard it. Noise? <laughs> yes. So you can either turn that beeping noise off and just have the red lights flash. So there you can dim the white light and make it like a red. So it will flash red mm -hmm. or you can have both the red and the light. But that was beeping as you went forward. So that, again, if I was doing a circle and I started beeping, I know that whatever I'm doing at that point, I need to finish. If I go further on, then I'm going to mm -hmm. crash into the back of the rail. And that same noise is what will happen to the side of the frame as we move forward as we're quilting to the side as well. So that edge warning is a lifesaver when it comes to yes. do free motion quilting. Um, so it's also a, a patent. I can't say it. Yeah. How yeah. do you say it? Patented. <laughs> yes, it's a design. So we, we own that. You're not going to find this feature in any other quilting machine, That's which right. I think is phenomenal. <laughs> That's right. So it's just the little things that we added in to make your journey a lot more enjoyable, especially when you're doing free motion quilting, the intimidation and all of that stuff. You now have a, a, a perfect yes. tool with a, a wonderful feature built in. Yeah. And if you thought that was everything that's built into the screen, oh my gosh, you're in for a treat. There is so <laughs> much more built into here. <laughs> so right after the edge warning, we have our project. This will track the lifetime of your machine as well as specific projects for you. I know a lot of people, especially people who do commission quilts or quilt for other people, they like to track how long it takes them, how many stitches, and I think that's just a wonderful feature to have. It may be something that's universal, but that's right. it's easy to access, it's easy to read, easy to reset. I love it. Yep. Um, Tammy made a comment, you know, um, if you have automation, then can you set the parameters and not cut off your design, Correct? is that correct? So a couple of things, one with our automation. Um, so automation is an accessory that you can add to the, to the machine. So if you're looking at building, you can add, there's many accessories from lasers to ruler templates to the top of the line is our computer automation. And what's nice with the computer automation is it already allows you to set a safety area within your parameters. So the edge warning is really good, but with automation, you can set that within the system itself to have a um, safety area that you set. So it's a little different. The edge warning is really good for free motion quilting because automation has that own feature built into it, essentially. Mm -hmm. So good question. Yes. <laughs> and we love the questions. If you have any more, please ask them and we will answer them for you. First thing I want to take another look at in the screen is our settings. There is so much built into here. First is you can adjust your screen brightness to whatever you want it to be. I always like it at the brightest. You can also adjust your throw area lights as well. You can turn them all the way off. 
a little bit on, all Everyone the way on. And you can see, oh, there we go. You see my hand, there you go, they're off, and now they're back on again. So you have full, custom, full customization over your machine as well for the needle area. You can also adjust that one as well. You can change what the buttons on your handles mean. We have a start and stop and a needle up and down. You can have that needle up and down be a full stitch, a half stitch. You can tell your needle you always want it to stop in the up position. You always want it to stop in the down position. Here are your toggles for the lights and the sounds for your edge warning. And something we haven't talked about yet is our overspeed warning. Mm. This machine can go to 2,000 stitches per minute with regulation. If you go faster than that in a regulated stitch mode, it's going to let you know. What it's telling you is that you're not hurting the machine, but your stitches are not going to be perfect anymore. I it's love just what a you lovely said. warning. Yeah, I love what you said there. It's not, it's not getting you know, mad at yeah. you. It's just like, hey, you let you know. That's the, I think that is the um, assumption when it comes to stitch regulation that no matter how fast I go, that is going to keep up with me. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not entirely true with all regulation because you can move the machine really, really fast and outrun your regulation. And so we built in again that warning to let you know that you're going faster than you should. Um, so it's just a nice, like what you mentioned, would you call it a little, um, what you call it, warning? The overspeed warning? Yeah, what'd you call it? You called it something just recently. A reminder, something oh, about... Oh, I said you're not going to hurt your machine, but it's just telling you that your stitches aren't going to be perfect. Yeah. It's so a gentle a great reminder. Way. I think yes. the thing you have to remember with the stitch regulation is it's kind of like gunning your car, okay? You can only do that for so long. And when you think about it, if you're if it's not automated stitch regulation and you're physically doing whatever loop or motion, how long can you keep that up? So you want to make sure that you have a consistent, steady space. Allegra, we borrowing you. No. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you have a consistent, steady flow. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, I, I can only, because my arms are short, I can only go for so long and then I have to physically take two steps. Now, if you have the automated setup, that's not a problem. Do whatever. But if you're trying to learn free motion, and like I said before, if you can do this, you're already there, right? So if you're trying to learn free motion, you have to keep in mind how long, and you might quilt for what, 30 minutes? You know, when we sit and stuff and shuff, you know, stuff and fluff, we're sitting for hours trying to maneuver and throw that quilt over our heads. You know, now we don't have to do that. But even with standing in front of the machine, you have to remember, you're going to have to take, do this, do this, move over here. Don't do this. You know, you got to move. So that's the regulation part of it. You got to make sure that you're at a steady pace. I don't That's right. know. Very good point. Yeah, very good point, Miss Linda. That's a really good point to to make it clear. So yeah, regulation, it's there as a as a way to inform you that you can still outrun it, to keep it. I saw one of the comments is uh, you know, pace yourself slow and steady flow. So, you know, a good speed now it stitches, you know, stitches really fast. Um, so you're not going to really outrun it when you're just quilting the way you should be quilting it. Uh, nobody's gonna grab the handles and move it zero to sixty. <laughs> like that okay so the process is when you're moving it you can still move it fast and we'll show you this here in a, in a little bit but you can see as we demonstrate you can still go fast um, and still have the stitches nice and consistent all right sorry a little detour on that. <laughs> we love a little detour that's fine <laughs> last thing on the settings is just um, whether you want it to make clicky noises when you touch the screen and when you do your button work and then you can also change it from inches to centimeters if you want to as well. That's right. And that's everything in the settings portion, but that is still not everything mm -hmm. built There's into this screen. More. There is still more. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite features. It's the help feature. If I can click it. Almost everything you can find in the manual that comes with your machine is built into the screen for you. So preparing to quilt, maybe you don't know how to thread your machine. That's just fine. It'll walk you through it and tell you exactly how to thread your machine. 
in, but it's also pad printed on the side of the machine as well, all of the threading guides and instructions. So if you can see right here, there's instructions that tell you exactly where to go and how to thread your machine. And if you're like me, you will constantly forget, <laughs> even if you use it all the time. <laughs> I love that feature. The fact that it's right there on the machine, you know, even as far as the threading up at the top and the bobbin to have the layout, the designs right there printed on the machine. Most of the sewing machines used to come like that, where it gave you the thread guide and how to follow. And so you didn't have to go and back in my day, get a manual, you know? So I, I, I think that is key. And the fact that this machine, I know I'm stepping a little either backwards or forwards, has the opening for you to maintain the machine. So this puts the maintenance of the machine on you, you out there. And it's not hard. It's not rocket science. So it makes it really easy. I love it. Yeah, oh yeah, me point. too. <laughs> so all of your help guides are here. There is choosing your needle, how to wind your bobbin. They even have troubleshooting in here as well. So if you're getting some long stitches or some skip stitches, or you just want some general troubleshooting, you can definitely go ahead and walk yourself through that. And if you're still not quite sure what's going on, that's perfectly fine. Just give our technical support a call and they can help you out with anything that you're having, maybe just some questions or some confusion with. That's right. So with that too, I saw a comment at the manual and then Miss Linda, you made that uh, comment too. The manuals end up walking away when you buy something. And so yes. now you have that within the screen from maintaining it to threading it, troubleshooting it. Um, so if the manual does leave, you're okay. You're in good hands, it's all on the screen. So that's a wonderful, wonderful feature. Um, okay, has four different stitch modes. Yes, it does. Right, has two regulating modes, uh, precise and cruise, and then it has based and manual mode. Uh, manual mode shuts off the regulation. If you are a quilter that you want to just um, go uh, at a speed of the machine, it can go from 5% of the machine speed up to 100% of the machine speed. But because it's manual, it's like at this time you're using your foot pedal. Mm -hmm. So you want to be careful that you keep the stitches the same length on manual. But precise and cruise are both regulated modes. And cruise brings another element to it that's different than precise. Yes, it does. I actually love cruise mode. It's now my favorite stitch mode to use. It will stitch in place even when you're not moving the machine around. This is best when you're doing micro stippling, anything that requires any tight or small curves as you're going around them. And it's that's pretty much all I can say about cruise mm -hmm. mode, but you can adjust how fast you want it to stitch in place when you're not moving the machine, and you can still adjust your stitches per inch as well. That's right. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna fire up the cruise mode just to show you that. So as we go, you can see on the, on the screen, you can select uh, cruise. So now I'll go ahead and did that. Now, right now I have it set at 10% of the machine speed. So once I start the button or hit play, you're gonna notice that the needle is gonna go at 10% of the machine speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. So there you go, okay, without me moving it. Now, when I go ahead and move it around, it is regulated. No matter how slow or if I go faster, you're gonna get the same stitches as I'm moving it around. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off. I'm gonna get this out of the way here and cut it. Get that thread out of the way. Get that thread out of the way. All right, so, and that's 10%. Um, so if I'm doing stippling and I want to move it and I want to move the machine really, really slow, I can now still get these wonderful stipplings because of how the machine is operating as I'm going along. And then again, if I speed up, I go ahead and it speeds up itself. But when I stop, I'm going to have that constant speed happening. And so just like Ali said, when you do cruise mode, if you're doing any kind of dense work or you want to move the machine slow, um, then cruise is the way to go. Precise is just kind of how it sounds when you're using precise. Yeah. <laughs> if you stop moving the machine, then needle stops. Mm -hmm. If you move the machine really slow, then needle is going to go as slow as you have it moving, which can seem a little different than on cruise mode. Yes. And so Tammy says, every time I watch these events, I learn more. Thank you, Tammy. All these features has me wanting a Okay, Tammy, 
I think after we talk about the price, you're going to be like, you know what? I got to buy like, through Miss Linda. Get one now. Go, to the, <laughs> yep, go to the craft lady and get the machine. Thank you for those uh, kind words. Okay, let's talk about uh, Precise a little bit. Precise, okay. So with Precise, you realize there is no manual slider at the bottom. That's because this is going to stop stitching when the, when the machine is not moving. So if I hit play, we're not going to hear any stitching because I'm not moving the machine yet. And then once I move the machine is when we're going to get the stitches. And then when I stop, the machine stops. A really nice feature that I like about these as well is that if you leave the machine alone for about five seconds, it'll turn off for you which I think is an amazing safety feature for anyone with grandkids, pets, anyone that needs to get up and leave immediately or anything. It'll stop for you. You're not gonna ruin your quilts. And you can just come back and pick up where you left off. That's right. And then we have baste. Um, so if you wanna baste your stitches, you can. It comes in medium, um, small, or large. And so you can baste them and then you can go ahead and pick that if you want. Um, so it has that feature built into it, which is, which is really nice. Yes. Um, so outside of having these options, um, you have these other options right here like needle jog. So needle jog is a way for you to move the needle up and down without needing to reach a hand wheel in the back or do needle needle down yourself. So needle jog will simply move the needle placement as I'm hitting this. You can see the needle moving up, okay, and moving down. So needle jog, again, it gets that precise. If you stop or if your needle, if your thread breaks, you got to move the machine out of the way and you want to pick back up where you left off, you can have that nice setting um, on, in there. Mm -hmm. So the needle jog is really something nice. Okay, anything else on the screen that we want to talk about? That's everything Perfect. on the screen. So let's look at the handles. Handles are adjustable on the 16, and if you're yes. vertically challenged that you can't, stretch forward. <laughs> um, I know Miss Linda earlier said, oh, her little she arms, she right? short arms. Um, so I can barely reach the back of this frame yes. with my arms fully extended. And I noticed one of the comments that, you know, Tammy said one of her issues is standing over the machine, kills her back, neck, because I have um, the pantograph shelf, I have to um, hunch over. So some of these is what we already go through, whether you're doing pantographs or not. If you're smaller, you don't want to have to stretch all the way to the back of the machine and bring it forward again. And you don't want to be looking down. You want to build a quilt in comfort. And so we built in these adjustable handles that allow you to move the handles forward and backward, up and down. You can twist it so you get about an extra two more inches of, of workspace. Well, not workspace, of, of stretching. So if we pull them all the way out. Now... And now when she's going back, she's not she's not needing to lean forward, so she's just quilting in comfort, which is again yeah. the ideal way. Which is great because if you're my grandma, <laughs> she says my arms are too short for my body. There you so, go. So if you have too short arms, you can adjust those handles and put them wherever you need to to have a comfortable quilting experience, like Mark yeah. said. Yep. Okay, so um, let's go ahead. Miss Linda had asked, and we would love to do this. We're going to show the basting stitch. So let's go back to the basting stitch. And again, you have three options to choose from. Um, either your um, small base or medium. And go ahead and just select one of those. I've never seen the small ones, so let's do the small ones. Are we ready? Yep. There we go. So you can just see it does small basing. Just like that, super easy peasy. Yep, and then when you're ready, then you can go ahead and, and uh, pick those out. So, okay, um, on the basing. So we have adjustable handles, we have the screen, uh, the handles, you can move them in for micro stippling. You can do, um, you can hold them up, you can hold them outward, so you can make them comfortable as, as the way you uh, want. Now, it also has a built-in bobbin winder and it uses M-class bobbin. So it has the larger M-class with the built-in bobbin winder at the top. The best part is, is it's separate from the, the machine itself. It has a separate motor. You're not needing to have the machine run. 
in order for that to run, it is separate. Okay. So I'm going to just show this here. So this is right there on the top. Here, let me pull it towards you. Nope, you're good. And then it has a play and a stop button. And so with it being censored, once it fills up, it will automatically stop itself on the bobbin winder, which is a nice uh, feature. And it has a dual cone here, so you can have your uh, bobbin thread mm -hmm. and your machine thread on at the same time. Yes. Okay. So Linda is telling us that we can't hear her, so... So she's having some mic problems on yes. her side. And so we'll, we'll work with her. Um, there's a couple of things that she'll want us to bring up. And hopefully when we get to the pricing that Linda can come on and talk about the pricing you get from her. So if that doesn't happen, then we'll go ahead and talk about the pricing um, on our side. But hopefully Linda's mic can get up and running uh, before that does come, come mm -hmm. to place. So, okay. Yes. Um, One thing that I love to talk about, which we didn't really, is the out-of-box experience. When you buy the Cunic 16 XLE, the out-of-box experience is really... I've never seen anything like that when it comes to sewing machine from easy to assemble, how to assemble it, it has handles to help you lift it out because we know how heavy these are. Um, so the out of box experience is one that you can't really put a price on. Same with maintaining the machine, which we'll get to here in a minute as we maintain it. Um, but the out of box experience is really something I really like to see us continue to see the customers love when they pull our machine out of the box. I love our out of box experience. I have not had such, I want to say a positive experience with getting something brand new and putting it together than I have with our machines. It makes it so easy. Everything is labeled big and bold letters. You don't feel like you're having to search for the parts that you need. I think it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, okay, we're trying to see if Linda, Linda, can you want to say something? Hello! There you oh, we are. can hear you, yay! You're well, back. I don't You're in know business. What happened. I tried to mute you because Lily saw a squirrel and was going bananas, and I guess I must have turned the sound off. <laughs> so, um, but I wanted to just, you know, piggyback on a couple of things really quick. No, because you you were making too much noise. Um, so, so. <laughs> So the basting stitch, I don't know if you got to show that or not. We did. Yep, we did. Good. So, you know, when we were back talking about making other things or quilting other things on the machine, the basting stitch is perfect for tote bags, jackets, what have you, because you put that put that basting stitch around your tote bag, around your jacket um, or whatever, and then you can just pick that stitch out after and remove your uh, item. So that's helpful. Mm -hmm. And then all the different lights, again, I cannot emphasize that enough. Being a person of a certain age, it absolutely helps. And the big screen on the uh, front is nice and helpful for getting in and looking around and even calculating how many stitches or what you're working on if you're trying to sell an item even we don't do stitch count so much but it helps as far as how many hours and etc that you've done um also i want to just mention really quickly you don't have to stand at the machine if you have a um what is a, just a hydraulic chair is that that's not what they call it now you know a chair that goes up and down you know, you can sit that chair there and bring the quilting arm to that level. And if it's got wheels, you're rolling like Beethoven, just keep going. That's you right. Know? Yeah, and I have to agree with you about how easy this machine is to use, especially for, let's say, people of a certain age. <laughs> I think this machine is by far the most accessible in terms of maintenance, the lighting options, the larger screen, the 16-inch six, throat. I think it's one of the easiest machines to use. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. And it looks like, to me, it, it takes a lot of the stress 
and worry out of quilting. There's a lot of stress on your body and your hands when you're quilting the conventional way. You know, with this, if you push that thing from left to right, you the only thing that really hampers you is you pushing it too much, too fast and too strong. Otherwise, it glides through like, you know, thread through a needle. So it's really, I think, functional. And the fact that you have the lights where if you do break a needle, because I'm so good, I'm so wonderful at changing my needle every time it breaks. I just think that <laughs> having the extra light there is a wonderful thing so that you can see what you're doing. But anyway, maybe it was a good no. thing my mic was on mute. <laughs> no. Miss Linda, you can chime in at any time. This is this is your time to show. This is this is you. Uh, we're just here, luckily, to be a part of your um, opportunity of having people know, you know, who you are and 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 that you're a dealer of ours. And we'll get to that in a minute too, because I want to say a couple of things about having you as one of our dealers. Um, but a couple of comments came in, you know, about you know standing quilting. You just mentioned too that you don't have to stand and quilt. The Cunic 16 X Elite can fit on all of our frames. And so if you're looking at either at the Cutie frame, if you're looking at this particular frame, this is our new Evolution um, hoop frame. If you're looking at the larger frames, you can raise the frame up, you can get chairs that raise and lower, so you can quilt in comfort. I saw one of the comments, I'm not sure who put it on, but like, aren't we all, Karen, you know, aren't we all 21 <laughs> Wait years old? Wait a second old? here, ladies. Aren't we all like 21 years yes. old? <laughs> so yeah, we're all 21 years old, right? Only but, in your dreams. Only in your dreams. <laughs> but to your point, Miss Linda, you know, when you're quilting as long as you've been quilting, you want to be able to have the right machine, the right setup. You've already been doing the conventional way for years. Why not indulge into your hobby a little more, invest in a little more so that your body isn't taking the beating, you're not getting tired, you're not, you know, if you have all these UFOs, you're able to go through those a whole lot faster with the proper machine set up and guess what when you're quilting you're not going to feel an ounce of like pain and stress because you're going to be doing it in your comfort uh the way you have it set up which is really nice yeah and i think we have to really try and you know be more thoughtful about our craft our hobby because it's really something that's a legacy and um, we need to invest in it. They have come, you know, the sewing and quilting industry has come a long way, even in the last 20 years. We have rotary cutters that have made things so much easier for us. Even mm -hmm. Grace Company has a cutter now that's ergonomically correct so that we're not sitting here doing this all the time. You know, maybe that'll be something you might get as a little thank you. You never know. But, um, you know, and so invest in your machine because it helps save your body, you know, and you know how many, how many of you have given a quilt or a handmade item to a family member or a friend or even made something for a coworker? Give me a three in the comments. You know, and wouldn't you love it if it could be faster, quicker, better, fat, you know, easier? I would. I would oh, think yeah. so, right? When you're having all these um, opportunities, making it easier, faster, and more comfortable. I would, I mean, if I had a three in front of me, I would be hitting a three right now. <laughs> right. Because that is, Here, we'll that is very true. Up, yep, I was holding hold <laughs> a three. And um, I saw a comment earlier that said, I didn't know I needed so many features. Yeah. Right? It's <laughs> nice. It makes it makes it easier makes it more enjoyable yeah amy mentioned it most that. definitely does you know yeah it makes and it... it makes you have the hunger to do more you know i mean i don't know about anybody else but i'm a fabricaholic so you know i just live in my house the fabric owns it and i just <laughs> you know if i could have if i had this back then i would have made so much more and used up and given away even more so you know i think we just need to invest in what we're passionate about and they've made it so much easier you know the industry has come <laughs> leaps and bounds since the one stitch 
okay? The one small little machine that was out there, those little singer black machines, we've come a long way. So I think we need to invest in it and pass on. This is perfect. And especially, uh, okay, brain on crazy right now. How many of you have children that are home for the summer? Wouldn't it be nice if you could Not teach me. your child, niece, nephew, somebody how to quilt on a machine for the summer? Wouldn't that be a great thing for them to do for the summer? And then they could go back to school and say, look what I made. Mm -hmm. I, I learned how to do this and you passed on that legacy. Okay, enough yeah. of that. <laughs> no, nope, absolutely. And I want to just add on to that, Miss Linda, that my my two uh, young girls, uh, my wife has one of our Cunic machines. She has a little larger machine than the 16. And my young girls were able to quilt their own quilt. Um, and one even made a bag uh, just past week on it. And so oh. they're 12 years old and seven years old. And they were, I mean, my absolutely. wife is happy because we have this tradition, like not tradition, but we're going to bring in these young generations of quilters, which is really nice. Um, you know, earlier cool. today... Yeah, yeah, and they love it. Um, earlier today, before we started, we talked about a checklist. Um, you know, as, as you're looking, as you're listening, you're right, we talked about maintaining the machine. This machine is very easy to maintain. Um, you don't have to take it in to get it checked up. It is ball bearing sealed. Uh, we made it to where, again, out of the box experience that you don't have to invest in the Grace product just to put it back in your vehicle, drive it to a dealer, maybe ship it back to us if you have to. Uh, you can that maintain this machine by yourself with just a couple of things that if something went down, we can send it to you. It's easy to fix. So that's why I love the Grace product myself is because it allows you to feel comfortable in your own home to, to if there's something that happened, you can fix it right away. Um, and because it has very little maintenance that's required, all you have to do is really oil the machine. That is mm -hmm. it. You oil the bobbin hook and you oil the needle bar. That is it maintaining it. So going back, I talk about a checklist. You know, if you were looking at a machine that has little to no maintenance, price friendly, um, being taken care of, you know, no, everybody has, I would love to say that our product, you would never have to call on our product, but that's not the case. And so we know that. And so we are geared to take all your calls to help out Miss Linda, you know, everybody who buys through her, we are able to take on all of that to make sure that you're taken care of. So maintenance, troubleshooting, cost effective, stitch regulation. Um, it is, you know, it is pretty lightweight, 16 inch throat, bobbin M class, built in bobbin winder, LED lights everywhere on the machine and just lights up your work area yes. and more. If you were putting that checklist together and you crossed off most of those, now is the time to get with Miss Linda. And now, Miss Linda, I would love to turn the time over to you um, to talk about how they can buy it, where they can buy it, and the price that everybody's been sitting at the edge of their seat waiting for you to come out with. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I do have your email and your phone number and your website available that we can put up on the screen so people can see it. Please do that. Please do that. And for the month of Wrong July. One. Month of July. Month of July. This special offer is available to you all. And um, Grace Company has been so kind and they put the price at four nine nine nine. So four thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. You said no, Allegra? No, because uh, for you specifically, it's 4,499. Yeah. So they get an additional oh 500 goodness. off if they purchase through you. Look at that, guys. They've just done us a bigger favor. So you cannot say no to $4,499. So anyone who has looked at <laughs> Buying a quilting arm, you know that it's probably more than your car. Okay. So True. Yeah. this machine and this one is low maintenance. I can attest to having my machine break down in the heat of my quilting and having to take it in for repair. And they tell me it's going to take at least three weeks to a month. I can't be without it for that long. 
So look at this where you can just open up the hood, oil it a little bit, keep up on the maintenance after you do, what, eight hours of stitching or something. And at a special bonus price for the month of July, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and be ready for the holidays by the end of the month at $44.99. And that's until the end of July. And if you go on the links or my email, send me a text, whatever, and I will definitely send you the link to buy it. You can put it on your credit card at, or however you want to pay it. That would be perfect. And in what is today? Today is the 26th, 27th. 27th. So by after 4th of July, that following week, you could have your machine all set up and be ready to go. Now, also on the Grace site, you can look at the frames as well and see, you know, what frame you would like. It doesn't have to sit on the 12 foot frame. Now, you can get the 12 foot frame, but it doesn't have to sit on that. It can sit on the Q zone, it can sit on the cutie. It can, you know, whatever it, 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 there's a tabletop frame. So, you know, you guys could have your own footprint the way you want it in your house and just be able to roll over and make some really unique items for the holidays. So click the link or go to my email, send me a message. If you would, I would appreciate you telling me how much you enjoyed or if you didn't enjoy <laughs> you know let me know okay until the end of july yes so at the end of the Ju of july we cannot guarantee this special deal because i did not know about the 4499 until this morning till now so you guys that's a special offer because that wasn't what it was yesterday. <laughs> I hope everybody was sitting down when they heard that because that's something where everybody falls off their seat, right? When they hear that price, exactly. they're like doing one of these things. Whoa. So, yeah. So forty four ninety nine. Um, and you know, Miss Linda, as as one of our dealers, it's so nice to have. You know, that's one thing the Grace Company loves. We partner with good people. Um, and you're one of those, you, you love the community, you love the quilt, you nice. love your customers. And so it's nice for us to partner with you for this, you know, I say great cause, but when you quilt for a family member, think about loved ones who may be struggling. Think about um, projects that you're working on that can benefit someone else's life because of what you're doing for them. That's joy, right? You get, yeah. you're so happy having this ability this wonderful art, you know, you may not think you're artsy because you're free motion quilting, but you are, right? You are. You and are. don't let anybody, I think another intimidation is you, you have to have it perfect. As a quilter, do not let anybody tell you differently. When you look down and you finish the masterpiece that you created, that right. is your masterpiece. You right. finish your quilt from start to finish. How many here's quilters can say that? I, here's a tidbit, and I want you guys to write this down. I used to say this to some of my students, finished is better than perfect. And nothing mm. is perfect except God, okay? And even every once in a while, he looks down at us and says, oh God, why did I do that? <laughs> so if God can ask God, then no, finished. That's what you want. Because we already just said that we have a bunch of UFOs or UFPs that haven't been finished. If I showed you my garage, you would be appalled. So <laughs> finished is better than perfect. And we are so critical of what we do that we look for the smallest little thread. Most people you give your quilt to, they're not even going to notice the mistake. You see it because you've given birth to it, but you won't after you hand it off to somebody. And I tell you what, I'll give you a little bonus. When you buy your quilting machine in July, I will give you a little tip on the side on how to make a little extra change to pay for your machine. 
Perfect. Yeah, I think that sounds great. I love the sentiment too that finished is better than perfect finished because nothing's perfect. gonna be perfect. And if you don't finish it, you're not gonna get where you wanna be. And if you have a lot of unfinished products, buy through Miss Linda, go to her, email her, give her a call, let her know you are interested in this machine and she can extend that special price to you. Yeah, and you guys can start as small as a baby blanket or a tote or a jacket. Those of you that have children or nieces and nephews, I know it's summertime. A couple years ago, we did 200 quilts for veterans and just gave them away. Okay, so you can make things for your family reunions, birthdays, and give that as a raffle or give that as a donation. And that's a way of learning your machine. So these are also uh, additional tips I'll give you on the side once you buy your machine. And if you buy your machine from me, I hate to tell you, you're stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad not thing though. Know. That's not a bad thing. Um, <laughs> all right, Miss Linda, wonderful price, great product. They know where to get you at. Um, I hope you're available. I don't know if that number goes right to you, uh, right to yourself. I hope you're available because you're going to get a lot of uh, calls, emails, and that's what we love. So again, quilters, finished. What was the saying? Finished is better than perfect. Than perfect. Finished exactly. is better than perfect. Finishes finish it all because you can't take the fabric with you when you go. And trust me, if they're anything like my brother, my brother told me once I leave this earth. He's just backing up a dumpster and throwing it all in there. <laughs> <laughs> so <Very> wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> so finish it, give it away, sell it, do it, ha learn on it, do all of that. And you will find that you're going to grow in stitches. Yep. Well, thank you very much, um, Melissa, Miss Linda. I think um, we talked off all the years that we're listening. <laughs> we made a lot of smiles. We made a lot of friends. I think we did a wonderful job in the community. Thank you, Miss Linda. Do you want to add anything before we say goodbye? No, I think if you guys just uh, email me and um, I will send you the link quick as I can at, by the end of the day. Uh, and then remember the deadline is uh, July 31st, 30 days, after, yeah. 31st. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know how many days are in July this year. Either. I had to do, I had to do the rhyme. 30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31 except February. <laughs> See what happens when you have gray hair on the line. <laughs> gray hair or no hair. One of the two. All of that. We both qualified. Mark, I love you from bald head to bald head. Yes. <laughs> Looking forward to hearing from everyone. If you have any more questions, please email me, Instagram, Facebook, what have you. I'm available to you all day today. Wonderful. Awesome. Thank you so much Yay. for joining us, Linda, and everybody else as well. I hope you guys had a great time, and I hope you're thinking of purchasing that new machine through Linda. And Lily says bye. Bye. Okay.